Hi everybody, welcome back to the Yarn Hut. This is Marcy. Uh, I know it's been a while. It's been a crazy year. Um, just to kind of get you guys caught up a little bit. Uh, I got married over the summer, which was totally cool. See, there you go. Um, <laughs> see, 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 see. Um, yeah, so I got married. Uh, we had a nice sort of Hawaiian uh, uh, tropical type wedding. Um, it was really nice. The weather was perfect. I made sure of that because I've got super weather powers. Uh, <laughs> um, that's another story in and of itself. But um, And then we had a, uh, a new grandchild adopted into the family. Uh, and that was like total sweet. She's a little honey bunny. Um, and those are the two, I guess, big, big events. Um and then, um, let's see what else has been going on. Um, yeah, I guess I've been making, I've been making, I'm trying to make her a blanket. I've kind of finished it, uh, sort of. I just have to attach the paws. And you're thinking, paws on a blanket? Uh, well, it's going to be a, um, sort of like a bear attached to the blanket. And you can kind of fold it up and it drapes and it kind of looks like a bear is kind of like, you know. I don't know if that explains anything very well. <laughs> um... But, um, yeah, so a lot's been going on. So now I saw this really, really cool yarn and I wanted to review it. And, um, it was, that yeah, uh, it's the Granny Square All-in-One No Color Switching Keep On Stitching. Um, so I got two of them, um sort of a Christmas present to myself, I guess. Um, they were uh, about $11.99 on Yarnspirations. They have different colors. This one is Frigid, and this one is Green Scream. So I decided, okay, I'll try, I'll try a couple different things. So I've been, with some of the reviews that I've seen on the internet, um, and I wanted to try a couple theories of myself by using the not recommended hook. And this is how it came out on the not recommended hook. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be frogging this because I want to see if it's going to turn out if I use the recommended hook the right way. Because I've done all sorts of different ones, obviously not the recommended hook. And they have been a little off. And uh, then I did, I started out doing another one. Um, and I thought it was at the beginning. And I'm going to explain that in a second. I thought I was at the beginning, um, but I wasn't because it was the it was the wrong color teal. One there's a ah, get that off of me. There's this one and this one. So obviously they're different. So when I did this one, thinking it was the beginning, it actually was off uh, by a little bit. So what they do is um, here. I'll show you these real quick. These are again not recommended. So this is the 4.5. This is the five, and these are both. I should hang on. <laughs> Show you. So obviously those are off, and these are both the 5.5 millimeter hook, and they are also off. But as I'm discovering, they couldn't find, at least when I was looking. I couldn't find sort of, a, I guess, instruction or something uh, as far as what it is, you know, uh, how it's to be worked, I guess. But having thought about a few things, and I'm just, just starting the magic ring here, what it is is that they suggest a 5.5 millimeter hook for starters, and they suggest a 6 by six granny square length, or, or square, uh, when you're done, when all is said and done. So I'm like, okay, all right. Um, I, of course, you know, just, uh, I really don't need that much of it to kind of make the point that it is, you know, if it's going to match up and everything. So now with this being said, let's say we're just going to see if it matches up the way that it starts out. Now I did cut maybe like about a, about an inch or so off the original. Oh no, it didn't. 
Oh, I did. I kind of did, I guess. But anyways, this is the beginning. I just, well, originally it was more, you know, I just kind of trimmed it. Um, but this was the actual beginning. Let's start at the beginning. It's a very fine place to start. You remember that, Sound of Music. Oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. Got to get that little spacer in there, that extra... Ah, uh, there we go. Another extra single crochet. So, in thinking that when I was doing that, I'm like, well, wait a minute. Because the thing is, if you want to start on a different color, I don't think you're going to be able to. Because you have to start where it wants you to start. Because each color is a certain length um, of yarn. And it's it's like, you know, it should, now it should roll right into this one. Where is it? It should roll right into the blue once I get to the end of, of doing this. If it does, great. Because I tried it on um, on the green screen. Green screen. And we got a little bit of the red when both of these should be the red. And there's only this much of a tail. So, and if you were doing the six by six inch square when you're done it should you know you should start out right back here and it should be as it's supposed to be but let's see it wasn't so now i'm just checking the blue uh to see if that is the way that it is let's see it's six um so yeah uh, i now i think these it's a really, really cool idea to have a non-color switch three. So you can just kind of keep right on going because you mean usually for those of you who may not know if you're not, you just or if you're just kind of getting into yarning or crocheting and whatnot, usually you have to when you switch colors, you got to weave in the ends and sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but you know, it's part of the process. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so now I just gotta do that extra stitch. Um, is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, so I still have this. So it, it didn't add up, and I'm right at the beginning. Um, let me do that little slip stitchy thing. Did I do that right? Yeah, because you have to, so, um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't do it. It didn't color switch when it was supposed to. So, now what I do like to do is I like to do sort of like a slip stitch over to the next just so it makes it nice and clean. So I can just kind of do this, one, two, three. And then I just kind of go right into it to do the other two, but see, I'm still on the I'm still on the main color, and this was in the beginning. Now you can see the color starting to come in right here. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's just off by a little bit, and it shouldn't be, um, because this one technically should be blue. So I don't know going on i really don't know I, I mean some people their yarn has been on point uh it's been you know right on the nose and other people they've been just like you know what the heck is this it's not lining up right so um i think um but yeah i i do think like i said what it is is that each where you start it's a it's a different length and then as you're going through the squares and it's getting bigger and then it's going to be a different length altogether so I don't know. I mean, they should, if the, if the beginning is supposed to be a certain length, maybe they should have some sort of an instruction to say, make sure that at least your starter yarn is, uh, so many inches or something. I don't know. But like I said, I do think it is a really, really cool idea. I do like, I do like it and it would be great if it did kind of line up. Uh, now, again, I'm not saying all of them are um, or all of them don't line up. 
um, I just know that these were just off by, you know, um, by a little bit. Um, and like I said, I, I just, I undid the ones that I did just so I could start at the beginning again with the proper size hook and it was still a little off. Um, so maybe it needs a six. Uh, I don't know. But like I said, the, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> trial and error, I guess. Got to see what works. You might have to kind of, you know, figure it out. But, you know, I don't like the bigger hooks. I mean, I don't like to use the bigger hooks unless I have to because, um, I don't know, they're just, it's, it's too much. <laughs> I like the, I like the smaller because it's, it's, uh, it's, um, I don't know, for me, it's like a tighter, a tighter stitch, but obviously it's all whatever that you're doing, um, and whatever you're making, <clears throat> and, uh, and stuff. So, I'm probably gonna have to fiddle with this, do a little more research, see what they say, as far as, you know, I mean, this is actually the be the beginning, it was the very first color of yarn, <clears throat> and even with me, uh, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, this is where it was started. So I, you got me swinging. You got me swinging. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty much all that I wanted to do. Uh, as far as the yarn itself, it is, it's not super soft, but it's, I think it's softer than the normal red heart yarn. I am not generally a fan of red, red heart yarn. Sorry. Um, but, um, it didn't bother me. Uh, I know there's a lot of, there's some yarns that are out there that are, I've got one in there. It's really cool colors, but it's totally stiff. It's like, oh my God, it's like unbelievable. Um, but it wasn't real, real stiff. It was definitely workable. Um, it did uh, untwist a few, you know, a little bit with the strands. My, you know, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't, uh, it didn't happen like a lot. Um, I mean, it's just more like a, a, a mention, really. Um, so, yeah. But that's it, really. I mean, if you guys are having uh, issues, I'd love to know. If you're not having issues, I'd love to know. If you if you were having issues and you figured out what the issue was, you know, I'd love to know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just let me know. Drop me a line. Get in those comments. Let's see what's going on. And in the meantime, I hope you all have a very, very happy new year. And, um, let's see, I am, oh, I have to do some new Valentine, uh, gnomes. I think I'm going to be doing this next. I got this, um, off of, uh, let's see, what's her name? Uh, Pattern by Olga Vaslova. Vaslova? It's cute. <laughs> so, I'll be working on that at some point. Um trying to keep ahead of the holidays oh i'm just uh, but i am looking forward to a great new year so i hope you guys all have a safe and happy new year and um yeah let's just be chill and let's take it as it comes because it's gonna be great all right i will see you guys later